science. My povea centralis spotted her beautiful countenance. The scylla in my alveolus danced at the sight of her butterscotchy epithelium. A penipren started to travel all over my biological unit. Every haversian canal within me vibrated as my solar plexus. I couldn't stop gazing upon the summer smooth clavicle of her statuesque gladiolus. The pawns of my brain began to go insane at the vision of her Fibonacci and conchas. She even had perfect maxilla zygomatics like a model above her mandibles. Her bangled carpus was gorgeous. I ran digits over her ulna and happily found our nares flaring jointly with joviality. Hoping she wouldn't notice the occlusion of my rictus, I commenced to lick the philtrum above her luscious orbicularisaurus. I could see intercostal muscles move in her chest as I cradled her lovely bony occiput. Proceeded to stroke both the sexy ilium and ischium of her delightfully curved coxa. Fondling her supple long rectus femoris led to caressment of her exquisite patella. When I reached the gentle slope of Soleus, I knew I had to turn to the lovable Mons Veneris. After exciting those glands beyond the perineum, it was fun feeling her gluteus flex and my trapezius quiver, as the synapses in our cranial cavities mutually signaled dendrites to acknowledge intracellular ecstasy, my smegma-covered vas deferens injected spermatozoon, followed by very welcome distalic reactions of the cardio.